hi hello welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Rachel and today we are going to talk about all the things that are helping me get through the month of June they can be products they can be random lifestyle things they can be experiences or they can also be the kind of entertainment things that I've been taking in this month I've got a protein bar it's just all over the map so if you want to know what's helping me get through what has been a very crazy month I hope you'll stick around, hang out, and let's go ahead and jump in to all of the fun things. The first fun thing being the color hot coral. This is an iteration of my last video. I had mentioned wearing it with just a lot of mascara. It's the same exact look with a lot of mascara, and this time I topped the About Face Beauty Canyon on Fire liquid lip off with the Fit Glow lip serum in spark and it's everything I could ever want and you're gonna see the color coral pop up a lot in this video another favorite again my nails Bethany from beauty bungalow does an excellent job I don't know if you're gonna be able to see but it's like we did a holographic rub which I've never done on my nails before and then she had these like cool like mermaid holographic flex and she placed them one by one which is crazy to me but they're so fun and coral heck yes we'll get into more coral things but that is a major thing that has been bringing me joy it's just the color that makes me so happy and this lip color is like so intense but so fun so if you want to see how I kind of pull this look together and pull off a statement lip like this go check out my last video yeah but let's get into some tangible products that are sitting in front of me and then we'll get into entertainment also, I have not been feeling good at all, and I'm hoping that this helps me feel better just talking about favorite things, also what I'm wearing. Let's do that. So an experience that was so much fun this month for me was the wedding. I will put the link to the video about the wedding down below, but I did six other people's makeup and then mine. Everything about that wedding was my favorite. The whole experience was great. Doing everyone's makeup was great. Putting that video together was so much fun. But also, it's gonna lead us into fashion, which is that skirt that I wore to the wedding. I'll insert a picture here from Banana Republic. It's still available and it might be on sale. 100% linen, it's a wrap skirt. So if you're worried about kind of like a say changing sizes throughout the period that you're going to own that skirt, it's so nice because it's fully adjustable in that sense and I just absolutely love it. It, Someone commented that I looked like a Spanish pinup and that made me so, so happy because I love Encanto, who doesn't? And I was living my full like Mirabel fantasy that day. It's so swishy and fun. So yeah, go check that skirt out if you're in the market for something like that, can't recommend it enough. And then another fashion thing are faux collars. How fun is that? Like I'm just wearing a Banana Republic tank top and it's a little faux collar. Oh, I bumped the mic. But it's just a little faux collar, but look at this one. It's like very the vibes of my makeup today. I've been getting mine on Etsy. I have a few more, so you'll see those kind of pop up on the channel, but I love tailored looks and collared things, but this is such a nice way to add that to an existing item in your wardrobe that does not have a collar it gives you a lot more options for accessorizing and it doesn't add all the bulk that a tailored shirt underneath something would so perfect for summer to add a tailored look to something like this also in the winter if you don't want to add a lot of bulk or see kind of like the crinkles of the shirt underneath I'm really hoping that Frank's chewing is not coming through because it is if you don't like chewing noises it is probably a nightmare for you but anyway, yeah, faux collars. I will link this exact one down below. I, it's so cool. It's embroidered. She's got like her red coral lips on. So like, who is she? We're bringing Dickies back. I don't know what else you call them besides faux collars. We grew up calling them Dickies. You know, Veronica Beard still calls them Dickies. So I'm going with that. We're bringing Dickies back. We're bringing Dickies back. And obviously they make me so happy. But that's, I think, everything for fashion. Let's now get into tangible products. The first one is super random and it doesn't fit in my basket, so we're gonna talk about it first. It is a dog puzzle. I have seen this one on TikTok a lot, um, but I do recommend this one. So Frank likes to work 
for his treats, whether that is doing tricks, the pushing the Kong around, and now we've um, integrated this and it is so good to keep him busy if I'm working, but also kind of wear him out mentally. So they have to knock the bone out and then they can slide these red things or open them up. This keeps him entertained for a decent amount of time. I just drop a tree in each cat like bucket, but I love this. And I was skeptical of some of them, but this one has been really great so far. Um, it was also on sale when I got it, I think for under $10, which is outstanding. I will link this exact one down below, but yeah, dog puzzles for the win. He loves them. I love that he loves them. And I also love that they kind of keep him busy because he's a very active dog. And especially on days when I'm not feeling well, something like this is great because he still gets the activity that he needs while I can rest. He's like eyeing me up because I was just holding that. <laughs> All right, moving along. Candles. I have talked about Whiskey Moon Boutique before. Absolutely one of my very top favorite candle companies. Just company across the board. The owner is amazing. I've talked about about her at length. I will link her Instagram down below as long as the website, but I had talk to her. You'll see in my last favorites I talk about banana berry. She made me a bajumbo naked banana berry, which is absolutely insane. So it's 30 ounces. I got the wood wick. Her wood wicks are the best wood wicks that I've ever burned. They don't leave like black sootiness behind and the crackle is just so relaxing and they burn so slow and evenly. This is going to last me forever and I haven't even lit it yet because the throw without lighting it is enough to make my office smell great, especially when my door is shut. So it's just gorgeous. I mean, even the canister, just beautiful. And now Frank's drinking, you know, ASMR Frank noises, but absolutely love this. Cannot say more. And the reason it's naked is you'll see there's nothing added. It's just the uh, white wax. I have another one from her um, in the 30 ounce as well called Take It Easy. The banana berry is, we went through the notes in my last favorite, so go check that out. But it's like a very fruity, creamy, just ugh, the best scent ever. It's my top favorite scent that she makes. She's incredible at scents. They're very complex and nuanced and there's something for everybody there. Please, please, please go check her out. But then I got Take It Easy. I don't even know how to describe the scent. It is, does she say? I'll pop the notes up on the screen, but it is so good. It's like a clean and smoky rolled into one in the best way, but this is why the other one is called Naked. Look at the detail in this candle. She's got a moon, a cactus. She always includes like a crystal of some kind, which is so cute. And then she's got like wax succulents in there and then some dried herbs. Like, I don't even want to know how long it takes her to make these because they're just so beautiful. They're absolutely worth it. I got lipstick on it. Again, the canister, I will be reusing these when I use them up. They're just gorgeous. They're gonna go so well in my office. So please, please, please go check her out. It's amazing. It's a Pittsburgh locally owned women's owned business. What am I trying to say? Oh, so good, so good. Please check her out. I am trying very hard to string coherent sentences together, but I'm getting over a migraine and my brain is always questionable. <laughs> after that moving into body care I have switched up my body care routine especially as we get into summer and I'm showing more skin I really want to take care of the KP and the body acne that flares up for me so I made the plunge and I have moved to unscented body care who am I um, I'm still wearing perfume because scent you know it's very important but I want to call out the Naturium, the Soother Sensitive Skin Body Wash. It says it gently cleanses, soothes, and calms irritated or sensitized skin. Fragrance-free, fermented aloe, calendula, chamomile, marshmallow root, collodial oatmeal, plus quartonized panthenol. So all of those are really good ingredients to help kind of calm and restore the skin. I love the packaging. I love that the pump is like big, like you can like smash the palm down on it because it's like big enough, you know? and it is a super creamy body wash it does not lather up a ton but it will bubble up a little bit and it does clean i can attest to that but 
your skin does not feel stripped at all. It feels hydrated, but not like filmy or greasy. I love this so much and it's affordable, I think. I wanna say it's under the $15 mark and you get 16.9 fluid ounces. Like hell yeah, this has been great and it really has kind of helped clear up my skin. The second thing in the same vein is the Belief Aqua Balm Hydrating Body Moisturizer. I knew I was gonna love this as soon as I purchased it. The Belief moisturizers always, always heal my facial skin. So I'm so excited that they came out with this. Um, it has niacinamide, which usually doesn't I don't get along with, but the Belief products are formulated so well. And it has the Napier's formula, which is an herbal kind of tonic that they put in all of their products and it, my skin just loves it. I can't say enough about it. It is like a gel moisturizer, like the Aqua Bomb. It sinks in so quick and it just, it's one of those ones again that feels immediately hydrating, but it also is occlusive enough to keep the hydration in and just like glowy goodness. That kind of goes away, but you're left with super hydrated skin. I just love it. This does have scent. But honestly, I think it's from all of the herbs that are in this. I know they list fragrance as an ingredient, but again, Belief has never done anything negative to my skin. And I so wish they would drop more of their line in the US. They have so many cool products on some of the websites that sell Korean skincare. I just wish that they would become available in the US and they, they are a pricey brand, but I absolutely love this. I use this mostly on my upper body and then I'll use whatever else on my lower body. I'm gonna make an update routine once I'm done testing everything out that I'm testing, but my skin is looking so much better. So be on the lookout for that. Then the next two things bring me so much joy. It's so sad, but also thank goodness. It's the Dove Teens deodorant sprays. I mentioned the blue raspberry in my, or the blue raspberry in my Credo haul. I went back and they had the Mango Sunshine's, the only other fragrance my Target had. You guys, I love these so much. The blue raspberry smells like blue raspberry Hubba Bubba. Like takes me back. This is not just for teens, y'all, you know? And then the Mango Sunshine, ooh. I have used this more than the blue raspberry and I've had it half the time. It smells like a mango creamsicle. Like if you've ever had the mango creamsicles that they have at Trader Joe's, that's what this smells like. An absolute delight to wear. I absolutely love it and it pairs well with my daily fragrance, which is Ellis Brooklyn Sweet. I just love it so much, so much. <laughs> they bring me so much joy. Like I'm so happy I'm filming this today because I needed a pep up like this, you know? Moving in then to skincare, I want to call out two serums that have really just helped my skin this month. Again, I will be making a video on how I handle my skin after I have a massive flare up like I had this month with PCOS, but it's the Phytosurgeon C Submerge, talked about this, and the Tower 28 SOS Intensive Rescue Serum, love this. Super hydrating, also hydrating, in different ways this is going to have like lasting hydration you don't necessarily need to apply moisturizer right away you do need to kind of lock this in with moisturizer but it is like so refreshing to put on both of these are great for calming and soothing irritated skin and i'll do an honorable mention to the fit glow beauty c ceramide toning mist these have really helped my skin love them love them love them <sighs> then the next skincare thing is new to me, but I've been using it. It doesn't look like I've used a lot, but I, I really have. It's new to Beauty Pie. It is their perfect eye makeup remover. I don't traditionally use eye makeup remover. I just use my first cleanse to like work everything away on my eyes. And as you know, I wear tubing mascara, so that's not an issue. But especially with the more sparkly looks that I'm doing and darker, smokier looks, I forgot how nice it is to have something like this. And this one works beautifully. It does not irritate my eyes. I would not recommend just using this and then walking away like you need to cleanse after this. It shouldn't sit on your eyes. But it's so nice and it's so pretty to just be sitting on my vanity. And it's plastic, but it's like such a fancy plastic, if that makes sense. Like it's thick and it's heavy. And honestly, I think this might 
yeah that's still plastic but it's so nice comes out in little drops absolutely love it and I think this is around ten dollars or maybe under so like heck yeah it's gonna last me forever and it helps kind of save my white facial towels if I'm wearing some really crazy makeup even like this lip I'll take off with that you know it's just super nice to have around and then next to last in the skincare category is SPF I've had so many SPF favorites again another video I want to film is like all of my SPF recommendations and a couple that did not work because I've been testing a lot of new ones this year um, as I try to replace my Dr. Dennis Gross but Lip Tinted Hugard I go on at length about this in that wedding video my husband likes it I used it on all the women I did makeup for ranging from ages 10 all the way up to very mature skin they all loved it my aunt and my mother-in-law went out and purchased this immediately after the wedding I cannot say enough good things about this they have a jumbo size now which as I'm getting to the end of this I will be purchasing the jumbo size it's incredible then the Supergoop SPF 50 glow stick this was such a game changer at that wedding this is such an easy solid to pop in your purse and rub on the skin if you're in a bind or you need a quick hit of SPF as someone with very pale skin I used to carry sticks like this with me as I walked to work even though it was two blocks I would still get burnt and I wish I would have had this because unlike the mineral sticks this is a uh, chemical but this really you don't even have to rub it in but it rubs in with like one quick swipe of the hand whereas some of those mineral ones you really had to like work into the skin so love this recommend this and then the last two the one is the believe the true cream aqua bomb sunscreen two-in-one sunscreen and moisturizer absolutely love this it is chemical but it does not upset my skin again i trust belief with my skin and i was using this when it was severely broken out and sensitized didn't see any negative reactions absolutely great it does hydrate it does feel a little bit heavier on the skin than the live tinted um, and it looks like it's going to have white cast i'll show you here it looks like such a traditional like mineral sunscreen and looks like it's going to have white cast but as soon as you rub it in it's gone just gorgeous feels just as hydrating as all the other aqua bomb products the body cream the facial cream it's just so 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 nice you get what 1.69 fluid ounces so very comparable the same with the live tinted same with dr dennis gross this one is slightly pricier but they're both cheaper than the Dr. Dennis Gross, so I'm happy with that, and I will be working my way through both of those. Talked off screen. And then the last one is Supergoop Play 100% Mineral SPF 30 with Green Algae. That is one thing that is like super bringing me joy is like this algae craze. I have come across so many products, just like the Photosurgeon Sea Submerged, just like Play with Green Algae, and Peach Slices just dropped a new line at Ulta with a ton of green algae and Centella Asiatica in it, which I am jumping on. If you have sensitized skin, breakout prone skin, just upset skin in general, Centella Asiatica or Sika and then the green algae is amazing. In my experience, has been amazing for my skin. I will be picking up almost all of that Peach Slices line. So I'm just so happy that it's becoming more common in products and products at amazing price points so this one i'm so excited i thought the play line was exclusively like a hybrid mineral chemical but this is a hundred percent mineral i've used this on my face this is so cost effective it's 3.4 ounces if you're using it your face that's double what you're getting with like the lip tinted or the belief that i just showed it's such a good price i love the play line i love that this is 100 percent mineral they also have an spf 50 which i will be purchasing as well but yeah face body approved i can't say enough good things also so so excited about the algae craze because like i'm in it you know then the next thing is touching on that coral craze that I'm in. So I had shown you the lip that I have on today, which is the About Face and Fit Glow Beauty. But I also got a shout out the Vision Flush from Danessa Myricks in Sweet Nectar. It's what I have on my cheeks. It looks, yes, I have a sample. It looks crazy, but it's beautiful on the cheeks. And it's also beautiful on the lips. I have done that as well. And then what kicked this off for me was beauty pie and super juicy it is such a nice balm this is for those of you who want to do 
a slightly more kind of wearable, not as crazy pigmented coral. It's like that watermelon pink coral. I can pair this in all of the kind of coral products that I currently own in last video, so go check that out if you're interested. But yeah, hot coral. And I could not bring up hot coral without showing you this mug. This is a 50 ounce tumbler and it has changed my water intake game. So through my health journey, I really try to get a lot of water in a day. I shoot for 100 ounces. Whether that's right for you or not, I cannot say. I am not your doctor. But the doctors that I work with in the past have told me to shoot for 90 to 100 ounces. So it's so nice that a lazy girl like me only has to fill this up twice. It keeps it cool throughout the day. It has a nice straw. Got mine on Amazon. It's from the brand Reduce. It was kind of pricey for a tumbler, but the quality is great. I love that it has a handle. Clearly this is not gonna fit in your cup holder in your car, but it's perfect to sit on your desk. And again, you only have to fill it up twice. Oh my gosh, game changer. And the color, I'm really digging the color. The color makes me happy this month. Okay, before we get into kind of like entertainment things where I don't have tangible things to hold up, I just wanna talk about this protein bar. It is from Bear Bells and it is the caramel and cashew. Ugh, these are so good. These taste like candy bars. There's like a hint of protein taste, but it is nothing compared to other protein bars I have had. The only thing is it does contain milk, cashews, peanuts, and soy, so it is not for you if you have allergies or sensitivities to those. But if you don't, please try these. They're so good. It'll change your mind on protein bars. I'm going to eat one shortly after this. They're just so good. And they're 200 calories with 16 net grams of carbs, which is you know, doable. And then how much protein? 20 grams of protein, which is excellent. I will say though, there are sugar alcohols in this as well. It's sucralose, which is not my favorite, but I tend to reserve these on the days where I really want something sweet. This does it for me, although I am kicking off a new health journey with this latest setback with PCOS. Maybe we can talk about that one day, but I'm not going to be able to have sugar alcohol. So I'm gonna enjoy them while I can, you know, and share the love with you. So try them out if you're in the market for something like that. Okay, moving in to more content-y entertainment type things, I have to call out the game Sorry. We've been playing it with all of our nieces and nephews. What a good time. If you're looking for something to entertain a young one or even just to play with your friends, Sorry is so good. It really brings out like the people who like to have a lot of chaos, which is me, I always, I like start chants. I'm like, do it, mess her up. Like the more chaos in the game, the better. And then our nephew brought this game. I'll pop it up on the screen. This would be such a good gift, especially for kids who love cats. It is Cat Lady Old Maid. How fun is that? The names of the cats are so funny. If you have someone that likes cats, again, you need to entertain yourself or a young one. Such a fun game. So I'll put that there. Game night in general, just really, brought me a lot of joy this month with our nephew. So it was so much fun. Wanted to throw those in there. But then as far as what I've been watching, RuPaul's Drag Race All-Star 7, dang. Like when they announced who was going to be on the show, I was skeptical, but I'm so happy they chose who they chose. Number one, I've always loved Jinx, but I have re-fallen in love with Raja and I'm so, so happy that Raja is on this season. What an absolute icon. I mean, some of her looks, her graduation speech was amazing, but the one look with the like whimsical ponytail, I'll insert a picture. I cannot get over that. I cannot get over that. Such a good season. It's not over yet. So if you're not tuning in, highly recommend. And then as I've been very, very ill, I've been resting a lot and I never watched this show ever when it was airing, but I got sucked in and I decided if I was going to do it, I was going to do it right. And we would start at the very beginning and that is keeping up with the Kardashians and I'm doing it chronological, like every season. And when they have like the spinoffs doing that, when the spinoffs happen, it's so crazy because even though I didn't watch this show, you kind of always knew what was going on in their lives because it's, you know, headline worthy, I guess. And it's so crazy to think back to like where we were 10 years ago when it started, 
the makeup, the looks, like everything that kind of like evolves as time goes on. So that's been bringing me so much joy. Plus it's just an easy watch when you're not feeling well and you, you can't like think hard, if that makes sense. So yeah, those have been bringing me a lot of joy. Then from a book standpoint, first of all, let me talk about book club. I'm in a book club with three other women. So much fun. If you like reading, highly recommend you getting involved in a book club, starting your own. Or if you want to know what we're reading this month, let me know and I can you know, message it to you, put it in the comment, whatever, and you can read along with us. But last month, we reviewed three books. One was Marlowe Murder Club by Robert Thorogood. This one is so different from what I typically read. I love mysteries, but they're usually dark mysteries. This one was such a like murder she wrote just mystery. Like you're focused on the mystery and that is it. The main character is so funny. And I also listened to this on audiobooks, which I highly recommend because it is a British book and the characters really come to life with that British accent. It was such a fun read. It's like a cute, fun read. It's not anything dark or morbid or overly gross. I mean, you are talking about murder, but it's done in a playful way. It's not again dark so I really enjoyed that one and then we read Reminders of Him Colleen Hoover I have raved about Colleen Hoover she's one of my favorite authors authors I have two of her books right now waiting in the wings for me to pick up Reminders of Him was no different heart-wrenching but also just an amazing story highly recommend that one and then the last one was The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo from Taylor Jenkins I have seen this at like top charts for readers everywhere oh my goodness if you like old Hollywood this is perfect it's kind of like all of the old Hollywood stars rolled into one as you learn about this woman's life it's almost like they took things from like Elizabeth Taylor Marilyn Monroe Bridget Bardot all of them and kind of put it into one character but the overall message of the book is absolutely great especially I don't want to give any spoilers because I didn't know what it was about so just the overall message of the book was amazing if you've read it let me know and we can discuss but yeah highly recommend that so I recommend all three but I think my favorite was the seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo so good another one that I would recommend on audiobook the narration was really great for that one and then I'll give you two kind of Instagram accounts that have brought me a lot of joy this month and then also a random email subscription so the first Instagram account is a fashion nerd. I will insert a photo. She gives me so much inspiration in fashion. She also inspires Queen Herbie. That's who I found her through. Her and her daughter's outfits are just so much fun and so joyful and happy, but also like funky and nerdy at the same time. So I highly recommend following her for fashion inspiration or if you just love colors. She's really inspiring me to do more colors, although I like to live in this like black and white world, you know? We won't go to the depths of that conversation but the next one is Erin Parsons makeup she really blew up on TikTok but she also posts them on her Instagram account she is a historical makeup collector and the wealth of knowledge that she has and the demos that she does even like applying things that used to be used like all the way back to like Cleopatra it's so much fun if you are a makeup enthusiast a history buff she is like everything rolled into one and it's so much fun to just see what she has to post she's never boring it's so much fun she's also absolutely gorgeous just yeah I cannot recommend those two accounts enough they bring me so much joy and then the last thing that I will leave you on is like the super nerd thing of the day but brings me so much joy it gives me really great conversation starters with people and that is word genius word of the day email newsletter they pick the coolest words. They're not necessarily words that we use commonly in today's time. Some of them are from like, what's the one? I can't remember the word. I'll pop it up on the screen. But basically it, it, what it means is someone who digs around in the mud around the River Thames <laughs> to find artifacts. And as I mentioned before, I work with a lot of UK people and bringing that word up they were like i didn't even know that word but it's totally a thing and then another one was like oh i just read a whole article about this word actually it's just so fun to expand vocabulary 
to learn new things and maybe connect with people and start up a conversation that you wouldn't have had otherwise. It's just fun. If you're into words, I highly recommend that one. It's an email a day. Sometimes they'll talk about different trends in words, how to expand your vocabulary, but my favorite is just when they give you the word of the day with the definition and its origin. It's just so much fun. So yeah, talking about this has just really changed my mood and my migraine starting to go away. This was just absolutely so fun to film. I know that I could speak more eloquently on these, but like I said, the migraine just leaves me really depleted. So I hope that you've bared with me through this and I hope that some of these products have excited you or some of these ideas like go get you a faux collar or make one. These would be so easy to make like thrift and old button up shirt and just cut around the collar. The color coral, I mean, you could do so many things with the color coral, paint a picture, paint your face, find a mug that you love or just stare at pictures of this color online. I have been doing that, it's so much fun. I just hope that these give you ideas of finding joy in the little things in life, whether it's a product, whether it's a color, whether it's a book, a TV show, an Instagram account, a, you know, a fashion moment that might not be the biggest trend but brings you a lot of joy. It doesn't have to be shiny and new all the time. So yeah, I also hope that this gives you ideas of how to bring yourself joy in moments like we are going through as a country. It breaks my heart. I will also say a favorite of mine has been seeing creators like Amanda Z and Kate the Great Beauty running fundraisers um, in support of abortion access in the US. I know that it is a very heavy topic. It is a very polarizing topic apparently, but at the end of the day, it's healthcare for women in the United States. And it's sad to see us reverse something from 50 years ago where we already have the data that shows it doesn't work and it's dangerous. And I hope that you find things to kind of bring you out of that enough to take care of yourself because I've said this time and time again, we can't take care of the causes that we care about unless we take care of ourselves. So find some joy, but also donate, fight for women's rights. It's not even just women's rights, it's it's healthcare, it's human rights. This doesn't just impact women, it impacts anybody who has a uterus pretty much. And beyond that, it impacts my husband. This has made it difficult for us to maybe take on the risks as someone with PCOS who could potentially be, you know, three to four times more likely to have some of these pregnancy situations that now I don't feel safe, you know, entering into that risk knowing that I don't know that I would receive the care that I needed. So yeah find joy to charge yourself up enough to be able to support the causes that matter to you speak up educate yourself help educate the people who aren't educated and yeah let's band together women and people with uteruses are awesome and the people who are allies to us are unfortunately we need to be heard a little bit more right now so I hope you're taking care of yourself. I hope you have a great day. Hope some of these made you smile as much as I did. And I will talk to you in the next one. Bye.